Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. I hope you all had a great Christmas and are gearing up for the new year. Today I'm going to be doing my 2015 favorites, so everything that I've been loving all year long or pretty close to it. I'm going to start with skincare, I think. Makeup's going to go last because I have the most amount of stuff for that. But yeah, let's just hop right in because I've got a lot of things to talk about. So 2015 was really a year of skincare discovery for me. I had previously not taken that great care of my skin, if I'm being honest. And this year I got down like a good routine with really good products. And I'm going to share a lot of those with you. The first step in my routine is cleansing. And this year I have fallen in love with the Olay Fresh Effects Out of This Swirled Cleanser. They have really weird names for this line, but... This is an amazing cleanser. It's cream based, so it's nice and hydrating. It doesn't leave your skin dry or stripped, but it also has little exfoliating particles, so it exfoliates just a little bit, but it's still nice and gentle. I don't mind the scent of this. I think it's phenomenal, and my skin has been in such great condition. It has to be partially due to this cleanser. Now, I cleanse almost every day, unless I forget. But when I cleanse my face in the shower, I've been using my Olay uh, va Va Voom cleansing system. They all have such weird names. I bought this at the beginning of the year and I use it ab about three times a week every time I shower. And I love this because it gives you a really vigorous deep cleanse to your skin, but if you don't use it every day and you aren't too vigorous with it, it doesn't strip your skin or leave it raw. It just does a great job of cleansing and because of the shape it really does get into like all the nooks and crannies on your face. After I cleanse, I go into my face with tea tree oil. I've talked about this so much, it's been in every skincare routine video. I like this because it's antibacterial, so it's great for getting in your pores and cleaning, but it's also a natural AHA, so it's also doing a little bit of that chemical exfoliating for you to keep your skin nice and fresh and get that layer of dead skin off. I love this stuff, it's really inexpensive, and this is my second bottle. I forgot to mention, after I cleanse, I actually go in with toner, which is something I haven't used in like five years. I haven't used it since I was, mm, maybe before I was even 16. And this year I've been using the Body Shop's Seaweed Clarifying Toner. I love this. It really deep cleans into your pores. And the first few times I used it, I actually got a couple nasty breakouts because it just gets into your pores so deeply and cleanses them so well. So after those initial breakouts, I haven't had any issues with this. My skin looks really good other than a few hormonal breakouts I've had. And it's just, it's wonderful. It leaves my skin feeling and looking nice and it smells really good too. I have convinced my boyfriend to buy this and I bought it as a gift for someone. I just think it's an amazing product. The Body Shop really nailed it this year. I have bought so many things from them that I loved. The other thing I have been loving is the Vitamin E Moisture Cream. I like this because it's nice and light. It sinks into the skin beautifully. It doesn't leave you oily or greasy. It sits well under makeup. And it's nice and inexpensive too. So I would definitely recommend this for kind of normal to combo skin. And then my last skincare favorite for the year is a mask. And it's the Glam Glow Super Mud Clearing Treatment Mask. This is pricey, I'm not going to lie, but you can see it working when it's on the skin. You can see it pulling everything out of your pores, and that's what I love so much about it. It just does an amazing job, and I think it's worth every penny. So on to hair care. I'm not much of a hair person. I'm not really that good at it. Anyone who's followed me for a while knows I'm really not into it, but there's a few products that I've been using all year that I've been loving. The first is no surprise. Batiste Dry Shampoo. I'm in university, I don't have time to be washing my hair every day, and this is great because it really does soak up all those oils in your scalp, but it doesn't build up too badly, doesn't leave your roots looking gray, it just does an amazing job of giving your hair that nice refresh that it needs on its, you know, third, sometimes even second day. I talked about this in no my November monthly favorites. I can't believe I haven't talked about it before, honestly. I've been loving it all year long. I'm not... Not even kidding here. It's the John Frieda Frizz Ease Touch Up Cream. This is great because I have naturally pretty frizzy hair and I've put this in today and it's just smoothed down my hair, made my ponytail look a little bit more sleek, a little bit more tamed, and I just love it so much. It smells really nice, it does exactly what it says it will, and it doesn't leave your hair greasy either, even though it's got oils in it. You don't have like greasy hair, it just looks tamed and smooth and healthy and that's what I love about this. 
on to body favorites, I'm going to start with a couple nail polishes and these can just go together. It's the H&M nail, polish, nail polishes from their new line. These are amazing. Two coats and they're so, so opaque. They dry practically instantly and they look amazing and they last pretty well. I need to redo my nails right now. I just haven't had the time. But this one's in stucco and this one is in copper penny. I have a few more. I just love them. I think they're fantastic. And H&M this year in general was just amazing in their makeup and cosmetics line. So these are a favorite and so is the entire line. I love it so much. My other body care favorite is the Lush Defluff Strawberry Shaving Soap. I use this all the time. I've repurchased it so many times. It's great for shaving your legs and your underarms because it doesn't leave you with razor burn. It's nice and moisturizing and it smells really nice. And also, it's like pink whipped cream. I love it. It's great. Okay, now on to the part you all have been waiting for, my makeup favorites. I have so many this month, or this year. Starting with base, my primer favorite for the year, something I have never had before, is the Maybelline Master Prime. This is the 100 blurring and smoothing one, and I love this. I layer it underneath everything. BB cream, foundation, concealer, even if I'm just wearing powder, I put this on so that everything has a base to stick to. I think it does a nice job of blurring and smoothing. My face never looks shiny. My makeup stays in place. And I just think it's a great, um, a great product and it's really affordable. And then for base, I have two products. The first one is the Olay Fresh Effects BB Cream. I love this. It's a really nice hydrating formula with a little bit of tint to it. I think it oxidizes throughout the day so that it deepens in color and really matches your skin tone a little bit better. It's great to layer underneath your makeup just to give your skin a really nice fresh glowing healthy look. On the same lines is my other yearly favorite and it's the Rimmel Wake Me Up Foundation. This is really nice. It just makes your skin look nice and fresh and glowing and healthy. It's got a higher coverage than a BB cream. I'd say this is about medium coverage if you apply it with a brush but it just does a great job and it looks so good on my skin it doesn't break up or bunch it just looks like skin and I love it so much and then I've got to talk about these two concealers I think they're utterly amazing it's the Maybelline Fit Me concealers I tried this year the Urban Decay Naked Skin I splurged a lot of money on that and I honestly think these are just better they're full coverage, they blend beautifully, they don't oxidize, and they do a really good job, especially under the eyes of concealing. They're just amazing, and sometimes I just wear them on their own with some powder. I'm actually wearing them right now, kind of as a foundation, but just to even out my skin tone. They look amazing, they're really inexpensive, and I think they're just a great product. I loved them all year, and I will continue to love them into 2016. Now the powder that I've been setting those concealer with, concealers with is actually in this yearly favorites as well. It's the Body Shop's Extra Virgin Minerals. This is technically a powder foundation according to the woman in the store, but I just use this with a Real Techniques Miracle Complexion sponge and just pat it onto my face and then blend it in really nicely. And it gives a really nice coverage, it really mattifies the skin and keeps the skin matte, which I think is a big thing for me. I really don't like a very dewy finish. So this is amazing, and I'm actually almost out of it, but it's super inexpensive. It's only $10, and it, again, it's just an amazing product, and I love it so much. I just want to talk about a few blushes for a second. There are two blush favorites for 2015. The first is these Essence Silky Touch blushes. I, these are so pigmented. They blend beautifully. They're not overly powdery. They do have a little bit of powder to them, but... I just think they're fantastic. I love that they never look patchy. I like that they're not shimmery. They're all very matte and they just look beautiful on the skin. The best part about them is they're $2.99 so they're not going to break your bank either which is why I have so many of them. And then my other blush favorite, this is a fairly recent purchase but I've been using it every single day and it is so good. It has floored me and that's the e.l.f. blush quad. This is the light one. And it's just got four really nice blushes in it. Uh, three matte, one shimmery. They're amazing. They're so pigmented. They blend beautifully onto the cheeks. They stay all day. They don't look patchy. And I just love them. I think that e.l.f. really nailed these blushes. And they're amazing. 
one more face product here, and you will not be surprised. It's the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector. This one's in Champagne Pop. I love this. It's the best highlighter I've ever tried. It got me into highlighting this year, which was something I've never never done before. It's just it just adds a beautiful glow to the tops of your cheekbones. It makes you look healthy, glowing, fresh. Like they're just amazing. And what I like is they're not glittery. They are literally just adding glow to your cheeks. I totally understand the hype behind this product. Part of the reason I never tried it before is because it's so hyped. I figured it couldn't actually be that good. But it's as good as everybody says it is. The only thing I don't like about it, the UFO packaging. What the hell is with that? Okay, so moving on to eyes. I have been loving the ELF eyeshadow primers all year. I've loved these for a really long time, but this year this just took the front seat in my makeup routine. I use it every single day. It's like super glue for your eyeshadows. They're not going to go anywhere. They're not going to crease. They're not going to fade. Your eye makeup will just look great all day if you use this underneath them. And then for eyeshadows, I have amassed a huge collection of the H&M eyeshadows. These are fantastic. They're very pigmented. They're very creamy almost, even though they're a powder formula. There's no fall down. They just look amazing. One of my personal favorites is Sun Worship, but quite honestly, they're all great. And I'm even starting to experiment more with the palette, and I think the palette that I have is good as well. Maybe not as good as these singles still, but it's not terrible. It's actually quite a decent palette. In 2015, I also started doing my brows more often, and the product that really got me into doing that is the Maybelline Brow Drama. This one is completely empty. I've actually had it since I reviewed it in January. I love this. There's just enough tint to it that it adds a little bit of definition to the brows, but it keeps them in place all day. It doesn't make them look too bold or anything like that. It's just a phenomenal pr product, and it's not too expensive. I love this so much. And this really started a brow revolution with me. And then for mascara, I've been in love with the Maybelline Lash Sensational Mascara. This is an excellent dupe for the Benefit Roller Lash. It's so good. It's so inexpensive. It gives you long, separated, voluminous lashes. It does everything, and I just think it's phenomenal. I have kind of short, uneven lashes, so I sometimes find it hard to find a great mascara, but this one has definitely just done everything I wanted in, in a mascara and more. I love this so much and I'm definitely going to continue using this in 2016. And then I have two lip products. These are kind of hard to pick because I bounce around from lip products, but honestly I think both of these are pretty timeless. The first are the Fresh Sugar um, Lip Treatments. These are phenomenal. They're very hydrating. They've got a little bit of tint to them, so they add a nice color wash to your lips, but they're not too bold. But mostly they're just phenomenal for hydrating, moisturizing, and making your lips look and feel really good. And then we've got a cult favorite, and whenever I think about wearing a bold lipstick, I always think about wearing this one. It is Max Ruby Woo. I have it on my lips right now, and I just love it. It's the perfect matte red. I know some people don't like this because it's hard to work with. I personally don't have a problem with mine, and if I want to wear a bold lip, this is pretty much the one I've turned to all year long, so I had to include this because it's something I discovered in 2015 and I fell in love with, and I still use it all the time. It's just a phenomenal lipstick. It's one I come back to and I think about regularly ra rather than my other ones, which sometimes just get put on the back burner for a while. Alright, so that's it for my 2015 favorites. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe to my channel to see all of my videos in the new year, and I hope you enjoyed everything that I put out this year. It was my first year doing videos, so leave me some feedback in the comments or tell me what your favorite video was if you have one. I hope you all have a great holiday season, and thank you for supporting me this year. It's been a journey, so I really appreciate your support. Bye, guys. Mwah.